recently had the opportunity to uh, obtain a large quantity of chemicals from a gentleman. It was a friend of a friend's who had uh, reached the age that he was no longer uh, building and uh, he wanted to get rid of uh, all of his supplies and so I was at the right place at the right time and uh, have obtained those and I thought it'd be interesting to kind of show you uh, a little bit about uh, a lifetime's uh, collection of chemicals. So uh, I've got these, I had to store these in my shed that I used to build out of, uh, so I had a large workbench that I had to clear off to put everything. I still don't know every little thing that I have as far as, it, especially the metals. Um, some stuff was not met, not marked, and so uh, those are questionable, you know, whether I will ever use those or not. Some things we're probably going to have to figure out how to how to destroy or get rid of, because I'm sure some of the stuff's uh, is old and it's not going to be stable. But anyway, thought it would be an uh, interesting topic, and uh, I'll show you what I have. So let me just go through some of these. You can read some of what we have here. The light's not good for focusing in here. But like I said, there's uh, layers of the same kind of thing here. Or the same, same chemical there's layers of. And then just just about every type of uh, metal and every granularity that you would want. I should never have to buy another metal, that's for sure. Anyway, there's piles and piles, layers and layers of chemicals. And keep in mind, this is a lifetime supply for or lifetime of chemicals for this gentleman. And you know how it is, you're making something and you buy a pound of something just for that one formula and then you never use it again. And in my case, and apparently in his case, you forget that you have something and you buy more of it because I've got piles of the same thing and I've got five gallon drums of red gum and everything you can imagine but any odd chemical I need for probably any comp that I want to make, I probably have. And it's just uh, overwhelming. And like I said, I got five gallon buckets of stuff. There's my cement mixer that I make stars in. Anyway, that's uh, I said it was just an incredible thing to get, and I'm super happy about it. I should not have to buy any chemicals for quite some time. Okay, so here's a list of the chemicals that uh, that I have, and keep in mind that there's uh, some of these. There's you know five gallon buckets full and. Um, multiple pounds of so you can see there's a wide range of chemicals um, a few of which I have not heard of which is not surprising but there's a lot of different ones here uh, plus all the metals I have uh, up there and plus I have a large tote full of uh, all kinds of uh, charcoals plus this is not even what 
I had. So I should uh, never have to buy any odd chemicals again. I'm sure I'll have to buy standards, but uh, this is what came with it. So that's what a lifetime of collecting chemicals looks like. Um, I'm extremely lucky to have met the gentleman. Uh, he was a master shell builder and uh, I would be pleased to, to know uh, just a piece of what he knows and uh, maybe I'll make him proud with some of his chemicals uh, at some time. So anyway, I thought that might be of interest to you and I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.